Hello, Retroburn here, aka Damas, creator of Invercore.blogspot.com, a site where you can read about P PC gaming news and how to's and guides and walkthroughs and reviews of both freeware and retail games alike. And this is my guide on how to install LOL Replace. It's a freeware program that lets you record your League of Legends matches. So a lot of my RL friends have have been asking how I've recorded uh, my how to play as an attack speed Kale. Um, you can view those zero death guides of ranked matches here and here. But um, about the program, you can simply Google for it. Like if you uh, type in LOL replay and it, the search engine is going to give you a bunch of links of which the first two will lead you to the developer's website so clicking on the first one and so this is the home page and clicking on the download link leads you to this page and from there you can download the latest uh, lol replay version is 0.8.1.4 as of march 27 2013 uh, I should warn you guys that the of course the one the one man the one man development development team of this freeware can s simply keep up with riots frequent patching of the game so a lot of bugs may pop up every time a patch is released so uh, I've bought a new PC and I figured this would be the perfect time to show you guys how to set up um, your LOL replay. So I've copy pasted all my folders from my old PC to this one. And it's under my Eat My Games. Uh, don't mind the, na the name. It's an in-joke in between me and my RL mates. So this is the r LOL replay. Uh, the first time if you're going to... You know if you've just installed it and if you click on this uh, exit it's going to ask you where you've put your League of Legends uh, software it's going to try to find the exit so if I click on this um, but I've already I don't know why it's supposed to be it's going to ask me where to find the game but anyway you could also do that once you've installed it and if you've changed the location of League of Legends you could just go here this uh, gear icon and just uh, look for the game in my case it's in Garena Plus because Riot has franchised, franchised off this game to my area obviously I'm not American I'm not European either so just to show you where I have put my League of Legends game um, it's still under Drive D and it's under Garena Plus it's under Apps, it's under LOL PH and it's under the game so this is the icon uh, League of Legends so, it's, so this is exactly what I've put here I just copy pasted that or you could also use this one the browse for uh, this is the screen that, that pops up if you first install the game, uh, I mean the freeware utility, so you could just fiddle with this and um, search for that folder, the game. So that's right here, and you just click OK. So, or you could do it this way. You could just copy paste and copy from there and paste here. So. Also, uh, you have to instruct the freeware utility uh, which folder you're going to store your replays. So in my case, this is under my documents, my videos, and LOL replays. So I'm going to show you. So this is documents, my videos, and LOL replays. It's going to store all the all the replays here. And that's good to go. And if you're using Fraps, you might want to click on the Fraps, Fraps fix because the as of this version, the freeware utility has problems if you um, activate its 
fast forward feature it's going to mess up the cooldown um, counters I think so you might want to click on this button check it and so that's about it and you don't have the, the good thing about this freeware utility is you don't have to click on any record button you just um, leave it running while you're playing your League of Legends match and it's going to record your match and the difference between using this one and uh, other third-party recording software is, is that it's not going to uh, produce files that are massive in terms of megabytes it's just going to uh, create little files that you can view using using this utility and it's going to activate your League of Legends game and I think it just stores data where your you know where your characters are moving what what your champ has been doing at this point in time things like that it doesn't operate the same way as cam studio or fraps so it's really very handy it just runs in the background it's very light and you just you know just even forget about it just let it sit there idle in the background while you play your League of Legends matches and it's going to record everything and um, you might have several more uh, you have, might you might have questions but the developer has this fact page it's FAQ page and you could just you know how do I record a match is this legit uh, nasty viruses how do I upload my replay it has that yes and um, the most important question is I think sounds like more work why would I not just record all my games in fraps for two reasons the file size of a video is enormous especially those output from screen capturing software to record all the games you play would take excessive amounts of disk space and would probably need to throw a lot of them aw away to free space up by contrast an LRF file saved by LOL replay is only a few megabytes for a 30-minute match, so you could easily have, have hundreds of matches recorded, which you can play back at any time. So there's that, and this one. The other re reason is performance. Screen capturing software requires a lot of CPU and disk I.O. while it is recording, and this can have an effect on your game while you're playing LOL. So as you can see, guys, this is a very, very nifty useful cool awesome uh, freeware utility uh, so uh, this has been retroburn aka Damas, creator of imbacore blogspot.com and you've just seen my guide on how to set up lol replay a freeware utility with which to record your league of legends replays so stay cool stay frosty